Welcome to our presentation on how to accelerate your use case with the Looker Marketplace. I'm Jean Gussier, Product Marketing Manager for Looker Solutions. And I'm Elena Rowell, Outbound Product Manager for Looker Solutions and Marketplace. Our agenda today, we're going to go over the Marketplace, what's in it, why you should use it, how to use the Marketplace, and then you'll see some updates, roadmaps, and more information. In the overview, we're going to go over what content is available in the Marketplace, as well as why you should use it. The Looker Marketplace is a central location for finding, deploying, and managing many types of Looker content, such as Looker blocks and applications, visualizations and plugins, as well as our partners, our system integrators, who have built applications and blocks. It serves as a package management system for all content deployment and installation. There are three main types of content, Looker blocks, applications, and plugins. Looker blocks are pre-built LookML models, including dashboards and explorers for a variety of popular data sources that you can leverage to accelerate your analytics. Looker blocks can be the starting point for quick and flexible analytics in Looker. Looker applications are full page immersive applications that offer tailored experiences within Looker, taking advantage of the Looker extension framework and further extending the value of the platform. Plugins are visualization types that you can install and add to Looker's native visualization library. Looker Actions will be added to the marketplace in 2022. For those of you unfamiliar with Actions, they make it easier than ever to build Looker into your day-to-day -day workflow and maximize your impact. For example, you can start conversations in Slack, create customer lists in Segment or, or in Marketo. Actions simplify your workflow and allows you to quickly act on data right from Looker. So let's take a deeper look at blocks. Blocks help with two parts of the data modeling journey. Blocks are an accelerator to help you get a jump start on modeling data. Additionally, blocks represent incremental value and add new analytics patterns. Get the best practices and a jump start into advanced analytics. For example, there are blocks that are specific for optimizing your database, and there are blocks for the Google Marketing Platform for gaining deeper insights into customer interactions. Applications within the Looker Marketplace include Looker's LookML Diagram extension, providing an entity relationship diagram for the objects within your LookML model. There's also the Looker's Data Dictionary, which provides a dedicated centralized interface to search through all your Looker fields and descriptions. And the Looker API Explorer provides a useful and integrated experience for exploring the methods and types of the Looker SDK. And the third content with it, that is within the Looker Marketplace are plugin or visualizations. How do you want to see your data in Looker? Looker's data visualization software makes it easy to detect changes and irregularities within your data. Visualizations help you bring your insights to life by telling better, brighter stories with your data. With dashboards that let you go deeper, Looker's data visualizations and dashboards are interactive and dynamic giving you the flexibility to drill down into your data while maintaining a secure bird's eye view of operations. And you have flexibility. You can choose from our library for, for everything from sunbursts to stopwatches. If you are looking for something even more specific, you can build your own visualization and it can be added to your Looker workflow. So why use the Looker Marketplace? You can accelerate new use cases. You can leverage expert knowledge and modeling best practices, and you can scale by expanding functionality. So how can you accelerate your use case using the Looker Marketplace? The data models act as a foundation for customization, and they provide common metrics and transformations. As well, the Looker block content is used as out of the box or can be a jumping off point for more customized dashboards and cross industry specific visualizations help to discover trends in your business and industry. The quote here references the Major League Baseball, and they were trying to reach a goal of democratizing real-time data access to all its clubs using their wheelhouse data platform, but their BI team didn't have the resources to build custom data models and dashboards for each of its 30 teams. But with Looker, they didn't need to. 
They instead, they created one standardized starting point that each team could customize to their own needs. Looker blocks act as a foundation for analysis. They will get you started down the path and accelerate your ability to deploy a use case. By utilizing pre-built blocks, you can leverage expert knowledge and modeling best practices. Nuances of complex data structures are taken into account, such as the block for cloud cost management, which helps manage spend across multiple cloud environments. Blocks are developed by or with our trusted and expert partners and product teams, sometimes for a specific customer use case, and then they're packaged into the marketplace. Or you can leverage already built in advanced analytics like BigQuery ML. Our customer ritual used the Looker Blocks for GMP to sync multiple sources of data for a more holistic view and further analyze these insights for new customer acquisition. And applications give you a better understanding of data structure and relationships. For example, the Looker's Data Dictionary application provides a dedicated centralized interface to search through all your Looker fields and descriptions. And there's many reasons to use the Data Dictionary including creating a reference source for all consumer of external reports, providing a location for business users to search for metric descriptions that they can identify, the appropriate dimension or measure for analysis. It makes it easy for external stakeholders to identify and locate the unique metrics for their business and audit look ML models to assess whether consistent naming conventions are followed whether there are redundant fields or if fields are annotated with descriptions. When you have a use case that is more specialized, you have a visualization that you can draw from, and that will resonate more clearly with your audience. And again, the MLB was looking to have the ability to display any type of visualization that they could build trust with their executive users. So being able to address the needs of key decision makers with custom visualizations was a turning point to the power and flexibility of Looker. And now I would like to turn our presentation over to Elena, who will continue to talk about the marketplace and show you more in-depth use of Looker Blocks. Thank you so much for that introduction, Jean. As I said at the beginning, my name is Elena, and I am going to jump into some background on what we've been doing in 2021. I'll then go into a live demo of the marketplace and walk you through some of the content, and then give you a sneak peek at what's to come in 2022. So Jean alluded to both of these applications, but I want to draw specific attention to these. So in 2021, we've added two new applications to the Looker Marketplace. The first is the LookML diagram. It's effectively an ERD for your LookML model. The value of it is that it allows you to see how all of the different tables and views are relating to each other and how everything is really coming together to build that unified view for your users. We also added the API Explorer. API Explorer is something you're used to in our LookML documentation, but now you can access it directly from within the product within this curated application. The great part about these applications is that they're built on top of our extension framework. This extension framework is allowing us to build applications faster and more scalably, and should hopefully be a value add for you as well in building your own applications. This year, we've done a lot of work to make sure that you can string together multiple blocks to deliver more complete use cases. So I'll walk through these and highlight these in the demo, but specifically our new blocks for cloud cost management really take apart the use case into different blocks so that you can put it back together in the way that makes sense for your data and for your use case. We've also built these phased blocks for Contact Center AI, a wonderful Google Cloud product if you're not familiar with it. We've also expanded the suite of blocks that we have for Google Marketing Platform. We added a new block for Google Analytics 4, and like all of the blocks for Google Marketing Platform, when used together, these blocks only make each other better. So I talked a little bit about new content that we've added to the marketplace, but we've also done work on the back end to make sure that the marketplace is working better for you. So Jean mentioned that we see blocks as a great way to start new analyses. What we heard from you is that the blocks in the current structure weren't as easy to edit as maybe you wanted. And so what we've done is we've taken the construct of LookML refinements that hopefully you're familiar with, and if you're not, go learn more about them, and applied those to Looker blocks. And so now with blocks and refinements, you can download a block and then create your own LookML project to then go and refine that block. 
To learn how to use LookML refinements in blocks, we're actually running a specific session as part of Join. So check out the hands-on lab for using and customizing out-of-the-box analytics for Fast Insights. So now that we've given you an idea of everything that's in the marketplace and why you want to use it, I want to actually jump into the marketplace and show you some of these things and show you how easy it is to use it. So let's switch over to the demo. When I land in my Looker instance, I'm here on my homepage, and on the right-hand corner, I can see this little icon for the marketplace. I'm going to click here and head over to the marketplace. So here we are in the Looker marketplace. In this demo, I'm going to walk you through the installation of the Looker block for Google Analytics 360, the Looker application for LookML models, as well as a plugin for a sand key diagram in our instance. So without further ado, let's get going. I'm going to click on the block section here to go over to the block side of our directory. When I land in this section, I can see that there's a huge number of blocks available to me to install on my instance. So for example, you can see a cluster of blocks that take advantage of BigQuery's machine learning functionality and bring that into the Looker user interface. If you're looking for more ways to add machine learning to your workflows, I definitely recommend testing those out. During the session, I mentioned the solution for cloud cost management. Here you can see the blocks that we have available for those. We have the block for AWS, Azure, and GCP, as well as phase one and phase two blocks that start to unify those other three blocks to give you that more holistic view of your billing data. But we are here to download the Google Analytics 360 block. So I will scroll down, I will find my Analytics 360, and I will open that up. I'm dropped onto the listing page for the marketplace item. You can see here, I can see that we have multiple versions of this. The author is Looker, and I can read a little bit more about what I'll get from it. But I know that I want this, so we're going to go ahead and start the installation process. I'll click through the licensing agreement and permissions. And now I'm asked to configure my block. So this is how I tell Looker where to get the data it's going to connect to. So I'll set my connection name. I know that that's the right table name. And we will go ahead and install. Once the installation is complete, I am dropped onto my manage section of the Looker marketplace. And I can see that I have successfully installed our block for Analytics 360. Here it is at the bottom. And so let's go and check out what I've gotten. When I open this up, I can see that I have a handful of dashboards as well as two different Looker Explorers. If I go into this, it will load the data and the dashboards based on that connection name that I mentioned. And voila, this is an overview of my Google Analytics 360 data as stored in BigQuery that has been made available to me from the Looker block from the marketplace, all in just a few simple clicks. We've seen the power of the marketplace to install blocks. Let's go and check out what we need to install an application. Back in the marketplace homepage, I can see that there's three applications at the top here. These are Looker's first three applications that we've seeded our marketplace with. I mentioned this during the talk, but definitely check back here throughout next year as we will continue to add new applications. For today, though, we're going to install this LookML diagram. The LookML diagram is an entity relationship diagram that tells us all about the things happening in our instance. So let's go ahead and install this. And I'll click through these permissions, set the connection name I want to look at and the tables that I want to understand. And voila! One new LookML diagram added to my instance. We can see our GA360 block right above, and we can open this up and see what we've gotten. So now that I've downloaded the LookML diagram, I'm actually going to use this product to understand the block that we downloaded prior for Google Analytics 360. So we're going to select that model, and then we have now all of the different explorers. And I want to dig in on sessions. So we can see here all of the different relationships between all of the different tables that this Explorer is leveraging. 
And if we want, we can even go and click in and understand some of the measures or dimensions that we've also built out in here. Again, all of this is just with a few clicks from the marketplace to install these new items. So for this example, we're looking at session data from Google Analytics 360. And a great way to look at session data is with a sand key diagram. However, Looker doesn't offer a sand key diagram directly out of the box. As you can imagine, that visualization has been made available to customers through the marketplace. This is the final section of content in the marketplace, plugins. In the plugin section, I can see all of the different visualization options that are available to me within the marketplace. We talked about doing the same key diagram, so we're going to click on that. I let, again, I'm landed on my installation page. I click the install button, accept the terms. This is what I want to call it. And voila, there it is. So this sand key visualization is now available to me within my Looker instance. So if I go back to this Google Analytics 360 block and scroll down here to the Explore section. So I'm now in the Explore section of the Google Analytics 360 block that I just installed. And if I go into my Visualizations tab and click the More button, I can see that sand key is now available to me to visualize this data. That concludes our demo for today. As a reminder, we went through the Google Analytics block that gave us a new data model, explores, and dashboards to work on our Google Analytics 360 data. We downloaded the LookML diagram that gave us the ability to actually go and explore all of the different models that we imported through that block. And then finally, we installed a custom visualization to be able to visualize via a sand key, all from the Looker Marketplace. All right, well, hopefully that brought the Marketplace to life for you and you're excited to jump in and check out the Marketplace in your own product. I now wanna to talk to you about what the future of the Marketplace is and what we have coming for you in 2022. First off, as Jean alluded to, we are gonna be moving actions into the Marketplace. Additionally, today, plugins are really very focused on visualizations. But in 2022, we will be adding new types of plugins to the marketplace. In addition to new types of content, we're also just going to add new content. We'll add expanded support for different products that come from Google Cloud. There's a lot of data that comes off of Google Cloud, and we're in a great position to be able to offer you out-of-the-box analytics for them. Additionally, new partner applications will be available within the marketplace. We are also adding more of our own applications. In short, keep an eye on the application section of the marketplace. Finally, many of you may be familiar with the predecessor of the marketplace, the Looker Blocks directory. In 2022, we'll be doing some rationalization work to bring the marketplace online in a public setting so that you can share that with people who don't have access to your Looker instance. 